All right, but being this guy's fitness, getting ready to go on a little recon hike. You can put this under the farms and prep it too. Uh, there's a quick walk through my garden. Corn's pretty much done. Uh, the raccoons really enjoyed it. Got maybe a couple onions I can still grab up. The beans, I'm letting them go to seed. And uh, I'll grab those and seed them out here in a bit. I think I've got like maybe one or two onions I can still pull. Corn here. Did I get them all? Also, the sunflower seeds I need to harvest. Yeah, it looks like they got them all. Uh, tomatoes here. It looks like, ooh, I got some getting ready to get ripe. Hopefully the deer don't eat them on me. I've got two more bags of potatoes to grab. Oh, there's a ripe one. Oh, there's two ripe ones. All right, so that one's no good because it's a rot. When I grabbed one yesterday, it was, oh, it was perfect. Like this. That is a perfect BLT tomato. I got lots of peppers. I can be picking. Check the tomatoes for any of those tomato worms. I found two and only two this year so far so that actually is not bad and i think i caught them early more peppers uh tomatoes those will start producing like crazy this one might be on their way out i don't know i'll hit them with some fertilizer there's some yellow squash that i can pick there we go that's pumpkins watermelon i don't know if it's going to make it and those pumpkins are getting ready to pick. Cucumbers are pretty much on the tail end, but you still find one or two. So I think I will be able to make a batch of dill pickles, which I'll, I don't know, I might have time to do it today. I'll have to see what time it is when I get back. But I may actually have the time to make some dill pickles today. So I'll drop these off. Back. Uh, and then probably make a shot to the pond really quick. We'll say hi to the McBean Scottish mascot. Make was on my lap for a good portion of my live stream today. If you go back and watch the early part of it, he was just loving life. I had her on the couch earlier in the morning. Uh, so she got her loving in today. So now she's just resting for her night activities, aren't you, Binks? You just resting for your night activities. I got home last night from work. There was a possum getting ready to come up to the deck and play with her. Of course, they seen me first, he kind of froze, and I, I tried to get my phone out so I could record him or her. But, uh, it's just, it skedaddled, <laughs> to say the least. Today, I'm going to do a little recon uh, area that uh, used to be occupied in the last few nights that I've drove by there it doesn't sound like anybody's there anymore so I'm going to do a daytime recon see if anybody's still there I do carry my friends anytime I go out there's my habitat we'll see if the turtle is floating on the surface again Definitely plenty of fish, which I can see moving around. I don't see the turtle from my vantage point. I am going to have to come and trim all this stuff out again. This is the area I like to give me perfect access to. All the other areas, I don't worry about it too much. So now, on for my hike. So, uh, I think this is about a 
two, two and a half mile jaunt. I didn't start my tracker because, to be honest with you, I'm not sure how accurate it is. I had uh, put it on when I was at work and I had like uh, two miles in and I was sitting at the desk working and I looked at it again and all of a sudden I had 4.1. I hadn't moved. <laughs> so, the outdoors it seemed to be pretty accurate. But uh, it's going to be equivalent to about two and a half mile walk. It's about a mile and a quarter to that area. And if I turn around, I think I'm fairly accurate. And at this point, it doesn't really matter. I did find my son's discus throwing shoes. And we were the same size. So I'm going to be able to actually have throwing shoes now instead of putting duct tape on it. So possibly tomorrow if I don't go to the gym, at least I'll go to high school and just hit some throws in. Got one of our rear vehicles coming down the road. Nice thing about it is we don't get a lot of traffic here. My wife must have got the mail. So, because it's a shorter walk, I don't bother to bring water. The one where I made the trip all the way around, uh, I did, and it was, it was needed. And then I made one trip even further out the other direction. And uh, not only did I have water, but uh, I don't even think I had this connected. I, I needed to have a protein bar, which I didn't have. There we go, now I got the Bluetooth connected, so hopefully the audio will be a little bit better. So yeah, nice live stream today. Now for the most part, AT&T cooperated in the beginning part, but towards the end, I could see it was starting to get the circle of death. So at that time, I decided it was time to shut her down. I was on her for 40 minutes anyway, which is more than enough time. But I uh, had a good talk. Uh, Michael, stop, thanks for stopping in. Miss Worm, thanks for moderating. Purple Cowboy, uh, Omni Romney was in. Hi, uh, Christopher was in. Family on Proper, it's good seeing you again. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, I can understand why you may have given up on the, the videos, but you know, you know, do the, continue to do the videos. Do the videos in your style. Don't worry about what people want and that. You know, if you get too caught up and you try to become uh, something you're not, then the fun gets out of it. You know, so at least you get out there and reconnect with the people that uh, you know. And it was nice because you being so out there in Arizona, you would be having your lives when I got home from work. So I had, I had a channel to, to BS on. Otherwise, no, nobody's up. Uh, uh, there is one, but she's on past my bedtime. So I remember I used to pop on yours because uh, I get home and you'd be live streaming because it would be only like 9:30 where you're at, it'd be 11:30 where I'm at. I think at one time you even get three hours from us because you guys don't use the daily daylight savings time, which I don't like in the winter because. You know, of course, it won't be bad this year because I'll be on second shift. It used to be it was dark when I headed to work, and then it was dark when I was heading home. And now it'll just be getting dark as I'm heading to work, so it works out pretty well. The neighbor, I just seen her pull out and go into town. I don't see any of her pup dogs out there. If they were, I'd go out and say hi. Ah. Uh, the corn drill. My idea. Corn sitting about eight, ten feet tall. Now they have changed field corn for a while. I remember it used to be taller. It used to get like eleven feet. There might be some that tall. Yeah, I guess it is. But uh, it's developed really well. They got plenty of rain this year. I've already uh, 
harvested some of the stalks. And what I do is I put them in a bucket and set them off to the side. And in the winter, you know, I'll use them to probably take them over to my buddy's place and feed the chickens. Uh, give them a treat, you know. See how they like it. Chickens leave just about anything. Oh, two cars in like 10 minutes. We call that a traffic jam around here. Uh, I like the Thursday and Friday because I don't work the extra hours. So I have more time to do things around the house and and get some things done, which I need to. Uh, I haven't been able to do these walks for a while because I was working so much overtime, which I need to. But, uh, nice to get out and recon the area, kind of see what's going on. I have a, looks like a vulture riding the thermals. You can try to zoom in for you. And maybe catching my hard time aiming a phone. But oh, that big vehicle coming by. So I'll switch over to the other side of the road. Looks like one of those big Bacter trucks. They must work out here because not really any use for them to be out here. See if I catch them again. Well, hopefully, I'm getting them. It's really hard to tell. I can't really see the screen because it's so bright out. Hopefully, you all got to see that. I'll check the video later. I might put it on my farms and prepping channel. So some people are going, man, you put a lot of pictures of your garden on your fitness channel yeah, well you know it's nutrition and I can't do pictures yet on my other channel I guess you have to hit a certain number for they allow you to do that all I can do is upload videos and create shorts I can do live stream too and maybe one of these times I will just to see what I can you know if I have a really good signal maybe to do a live stream from the garden I know I did that in the beginning of the year it seemed to work out fairly well. It all depends on uh, AT&T signal. I'll be so glad when Starlink gets out here, even though it'll cost more. At least I'll have a, a good signal. So I'm coming up here to Mud Creek, or Creek, however you pronounce them. And uh, this is where I caught those bluegills. To put in my pond and probably getting into late September I'll do some fishing and uh, fish some of them out and fry them up, fry them up, make some fish chips out of them. So wow, this is the lowest I've seen this water in a long time. So Believe it or not, there's a lot of fish in there. And this is the most open I've seen it. Let's check the other side. So here you have a little bit more shade. Oh, look at that. Oh, I hope you've seen that turtle. Now, that was a soft shell. That went in. So that's the first time I've seen a soft shell out here. I was sure they're out there, but I didn't see them before, so I'm uh, pretty sure I was pointing right at them. So I'll try to make that a short on my farming channel. And if I go back in the woods, we could probably sneak up on a beaver or two. Well, that was kind of exciting. Soft-shelled turtle. 
Well, so far it's been a painted turtle and a snapping turtle and now a soft tail, soft shell. Now, it's good to see that the wildlife is thriving. Uh, it's a good habitat. Things to kind of keep in mind in case things go real south. Now I think, and I'm going to kill this blue tooth. Because I think the blue tooth picks up that wind really, really loud. And it's probably going to mess up with the video quality. You can see on the phone right next to me. I can go ahead and do this. So this is going to be a pretty much one of my longer walking videos. I used to cut them down to two or three videos because I'd be trying to upload them here at the house. And if I did more than five minutes, it would be like a four to six hour upload, which really sucks. But you know, I can do it now, do a half hour video and at work it'll upload in about 15, 20 minutes at the worst. That was my neighbor Wayne. Sounds like he's out in the shed. Puppy dog must be out there with him. I haven't got to see him since, well, early in the summer, late spring. They haven't done any of these walks. And then he has two dogs, which I made friends with. But it doesn't look like they're outside. If they were, they'd be chatting with me. But he's got chickens and guineas and that. I gotta ask him if he's got eggs. The other source has dried up. And uh, since I don't have the fresh eggs, and it's the store bought eggs, I haven't been eating as many. You get spoiled. So I may need to find a second source. I think what happened is his chickens got old and stopped laying. And he went and got more chickens, and he's Gotta wait for them to get big enough to start producing. So, oh, big truck coming. So I do love it here out in the country. But even though I'm out in the country and going nowhere, I still keep a few friends with me to provide security. So he's got some sort of engine noise running down here. Sounds like a generator. Ah, it's a mower. There he is. It's like a big mower or some sort of vehicle. Aha, I found you. I didn't know his property went back that far. Well, I probably did. Hard, harder to see it when you got all these leaves and all this foliage. Oh yeah, it looks like he mows a path all the way back here. So I wonder if that's all his property. If it is, it's just raised his coolness level, to say the least. So, one nice thing out here, there's a lot of natural foraging you can do. I understand, it's great when you only have a few of you. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Is it anthill or just dirt? Just dirt. Uh, hunting and foraging and fishing. But if the shit really did hit the fan and everybody and their brothers doing it, even out here you would deplete your resources. You would actually have to protect them. So you have to have to make make boundaries. Build a wall. <laughs> I understand boundaries are there for a reason. I don't understand where you know you start letting uh, huge populations migrate to areas. Basically, what happens is they just take out all the resources and then move on. And that's you know that's in nature, you know. You know, herd animals do that, you know. Locusts do that. Yeah, I mean, they just eat all the area and 
stuff in one area and then they move on to the next area. In a couple of years that area regenerates. And that way we're not too much different from the rest of the animal kingdom. We try to sometimes use our, our intellect to plan and do long forecasting, but you know, sometimes, you know, greed and power take over, which I think we're seeing a lot of that here in the last four years, or at least it's, it's reared its ugly head and, and it's pretty obvious. And if you don't see it, you don't want to. I don't care what side it is. I think they're doing things just to stay in power. All right. Probably going to say some things are going to upset some people, but that's fine. It's my walk. But uh, the farce that they're trying to sell on climate change, folks, climate is always changing. We went through ice ages. We went through many ice ages. We went through hot spells. Mother Nature produces more of the carbon emissions than man may can do at this time. Now, is there a pollution problem? Yes. We dump way too much crap in our rivers and oceans. I mean, there literally are islands of plastic floating out there. So if they want to spend their money, spend their money on building machines that can get rid of that plastic, they're out there. People have made it where it actually runs off the plastic it, it takes up. Now, they're not money efficient, but they help clean up the area. You know, provide jobs for people to go out and pick up all the trash off the beaches and off the side of the roads and in our waterways. That will improve our environment. Now, have, have we done things to greatly improve our environment? Absolutely. You know, we regulate and we test and process things before they get dumped in our waterway. And that has greatly improved, I know, a lot of our rivers and creeks since when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, they could just dump it right into the water. As uh, my one teacher said, the solution to pollution was dilution. Let's dump it in the water and let it dilute. Problem is too much was being dumped in there. But, uh, yeah, cow farts are not going to sit there and change our, our climate. You know, there's a video out there where there's a guy from New Zealand talking to one of the politicians there. And he asked her, do you know how much CO2 has contributed to, from the planet? And she did. He told her. He says, we contribute 3%. The whole world. 3% of the CO2 emissions that the planet gets. Everything else is naturally made. And then he asked her, do you know how much of that 3% New Zealand produces? And she didn't know that either. But here they're wanting to shut down all their industries. And he says, 0.3%. So you want us to shut down our economy over 0.3 of 3% of the emissions and you know she didn't know how to say it because they don't research their stuff somebody tells them hey this is how you can make people give you more money and hey this is how you can make people worried about what you're doing and this is my opinion i think it's a based on a lot of observations but you know youtube before you freak out it's my opinion and i think i can give it so you know the canadian proper and i like his channel believe that climate change is real it's not really the definition of climate is changing you know, the weather and we have four seasons you know we have hot summers we have cold summers we have warm winters we have cold winters it ain't because of cow farting but you know where we can spend our money picking up the trash getting the trash out of the oceans you know probably need to sit there and monitor some of the fishing we do and the problem is we're not the major contributors of this. For the most part, it's China and India, and they don't give a shit. You know, so granted, it helps for us to do this, but you know, California banned plastic straws. They make paper straws, but what do the plastic straws come in? 
plastic wrapping. You know, there's paper wrapping available. But if you're going to make a change, think it through and make the, make the entire change. You know, go for paper straws. They're just fine. But don't wrap them in plastic and say you're reducing the plastic. Because you're not. Wrap them in paper. Now, how's the paper made? Usually with wood. You know, but you can replant trees. Use that money. And I think they are using some of the money to plant more trees. That's a good thing. I don't disagree with what the current administration does. And I don't agree with what it was everything the, the last administration did. But, you know, 87,000 more IRS, IRS agents. For what? They ain't such a tax to wretched BS. You know, uh, 87,000 more resource officers for schools, I think, would have been better spent. But they don't care about that. They want you to live in fear, my opinion. But they do. You know? They don't want to fix the violence problem. They want to use it for an agenda. All right, now well, we need to ban these guns. Folks, the guns ain't doing the crime people are. And almost any time, once you get a couple weeks of an investigation, those people were a red light. And they knew it. Just waited for it to happen. I mean, how many of us called that there was going to be a, an event on July 4th? But everybody I knew, there it was. You know, how could it have been stopped? In well, a lot of ways. The kid never should have had the gun. But his dad signed off on it, used his political connections to get around Illinois' Foyd card laws. He should have never had a Foyd card. He didn't buy it legally. He used his dad's connections. Why are they not going after him? Because it doesn't fit their narrative. You know. And then he had people who were armed there Maybe they couldn't have took them out, they could have definitely suppressed them. And people were there, what chance would you have? We had police there, it didn't help. Okay, so you're saying is, take all the guns from us because the police will protect us. Doesn't sound like you said they could. So make up your damn mind. I tell you, some of these people I see on these <sighs> Duckworth's site and that, when you challenge their logic, they don't have any. You know, save the children. Almost everybody that says save the children are pro-choice. And that's fine if you're pro-choice or pro-life. It's America in that. But don't say save the children if you're okay with aborting them. All right, that's silly. You're, you're talking out of both sides of your ass again. Be consistent. So here's the, done, done with my rant. Well, not really. But here's the area where there's about seven campers. And I was wondering if it was being used. Well, there's a table out there and chairs and bug spray. And it's been mowed. And that's been probably within the last two weeks. The last time I made a nighttime pass here, it wasn't. I personally think this is a kind of a group party place. That they all come out here at night and sit there and have a bonfire and probably... Some grilled food and some cocktails and probably have a really good time. But had I not walked out here, I would not have known it existed. So, hopefully I buried my rant deep enough in the video. If not, I have a rumble channel, Scottish Fitness. There's a space there. Please sign up for my backup. And then, of course, if they do uh, kick me off on the... Uh, Scottish Fitness, my uh, McBean Farms and Prepping, is also my backup. And if they kick me off that, I have another one called The Crazy Peck Chef. So if you're not subscribed to those two, please do. They're just for backup. And if I do, you know, follow the path of, you know, those really hard people of Rudy the Alaska Prepper and Casey Little Owl, at least I can still put out video content. At first I didn't know why they had backup channels and now it's pretty pretty obvious. So here comes my of concern. During the spring when I walked by here, there would be lights on and music playing. 
and uh, and even at night lights would be on. Well, the nights lights are not on. Now the truck has moved position. I think it's changed direction. There's road tiller there, but I don't hear anything. Hell yeah, that's a nice big road tiller. That one probably takes about a good foot bigger swat than mine does. So. I mean, honest, I'd like to know somebody that lives here. It is a junkyard, and you know what they say: one man's junk is another man's treasure. I bet you there are some hidden gems in here, but it's probably going to need to come down to him being outside when I walk by and start a conversation. If not, walking in. Well, it'd be a mistake. All right. As it says, private property, no trespassing. And I believe he means it. Now, this is as far as I was wanting to walk. I'll be honest with you. This walk's really doing my knee a lot of good. I remember when I kind of messed up. I think it was the same knee when I was playing uh, some farmyard football. I went home on leave. So when I came back from Korea and we were playing some farmyard football out there and I got hit by two tacklers and messed my knee up. I didn't realize how bad until I got back to the base and I was going downstairs and, and I came down the fast way because the knee just gave out. So I went and seen the medics and they said, well, we're going to have to take you off the runs. I said, all right. He says, uh, you won't be able to run again and your knee's pretty much shot for life. I thought about it for about a week. I said, you know, that's bullshit. I can still walk. So I started doing the runs again. And by the end of the month, I was back to 100%. So the one thing I say, I always do heal. It takes time. But generally, I always heal. You know, do I have to sit there and baby it for a little bit? Yeah. But the walks are definitely doing it good. So it looks like my... Two and a half mile walk is probably going to turn into maybe two and three quarters, maybe three. It's just such a nice day. And I haven't had a chance to do one of these for a while. You know. And like I said, it's very therapeutic. Be out here in the middle of nowhere. It's me and the sun and soybean fields and corn fields. Uh, that's one thing that nobody's outside anymore. Couple reasons for it. A lot of people probably working. You know, back in the days of the 50s where, you know, mom stayed home and dad worked pretty much over and out requires both mom and dad working. Or if you're a single parent, you gotta work anyway and try to figure that circus out because then you gotta find how to get the kids, and that's what school's good about because at least Monday through Friday. You have the older kids in school. I think that may have been one of the main reasons school was invented was to allow the parents to go out in the field and get things done. And then also provide an education for the kids. The problem is now you don't know what sort of education they're being given. You know, uh, you know, college, I understand college is going to be liberal. Neither the kids are going to see through that or not. But, you know, they're generally considered to be adults at that time. But, you know, when you're in kindergarten and grade school and that, y'all teachers need to keep your political affiliations the hell out of the school. All right? Teach them how to count. Teach them how to add. Teach them how to write. Teach them how to read. Teach them real history. Even the bad shit. But I understand just what the world can be when they get older. The problem now is college kids think the world is this utopia. It's not. All right? It doesn't mean you can't enjoy a life. You can. But it takes effort. It takes work. And it takes... You have to be... You got to be paying attention to what's going around you. Vigilance. There we go. I'm trying to get that word out. You know, because if you're not... You're going to get taken advantage of. That's just the nature of the beast. You know. 
we got some young kids that know how it is. I see them in the gym. They're working hard. And they, they know what life's about. And you got the other ones that, you know, well, I think the government should do this. I think it should be the government. The only thing the government should be doing is providing security for the country or the county or the town. That's it. That's all the government should be doing. Federal government is for security of the nation. You know, that's Army, you know, and maybe the FBI and the CIA. And a lot of these other ones are not needed. The other ones should be able to do it. <clears throat> and when they get political size, it, it's a terrible tool. You know, uh, doubling the size of the IRS, I think, sends a very bad signal. And I'm not looking forward to 2023. I really ain't. Uh, it's telling me that their priorities are money, not safety. Like I said, they could provide 87,000 jobs of highly trained veterans to sit there and guard those schools. You know, well, they can't guard every school. No, but they can guard a lot of them, can't they? And I guarantee you, those twisted people that want to do evil to children pick soft targets. And when you provide soft targets, you provide the opportunity. It's not trying to take my right to defend myself away because you refuse to do the logical steps to protect them. You know, on every town, I'm sure there's a lot of veterans that are trained. A lot of them had combat experience. And even if they didn't, if they had experience in shooting weapons, sit there and put them in as a resource officer. I think I'm going to walk down the other side of Mud Creek and see what it looks like and then head back. And that's what we should be doing. So the fact that the administration is doing nothing useful to stop the, the violence tells me it's all about fear. You know, sitting there and attacking the sources, all they're doing is they're providing more uh, victim heavy gun free zones. Or criminals and and the twisted uh, do what they want provides more fear my opinion I think it's a pretty good one so if you did hang around this long in the video you got to see a little bit more insight uh, you know just like everybody else I'm concerned about the direction this country is taking you know we had guns back in the 70s and when somebody threatened the school, you know, five or six fathers showed up at the doorstep. And guess what? Nothing happened. Because they were there protecting the school. You know, we're so worried about being politically correct that as a nation, we've become stupid. You got to start doing your own research. You got to look into what they're saying and then ask yourself, why are they saying that? You know, too often, you know, my daughter, she said that the person in charge of the Nimitz at the time, the Admiral, you know, said, well, you know, we bombed some innocent people during, you know, President Trump. I said, okay. I said, we, we did it through Obama. We did it through Bush. We did it through the other Bush. We did it through Clinton. We did it through every administration. Mistakes are made. I said, so you have to ask himself, number one, why was he sharing this information? My commanders in the Army would have never done. Uh, I think, you know, something like that should be relieved. You work for the commander-in-chief, regardless who's there. I said, we got to ask him, what was his personal agenda? And she goes, what do you mean? I said, well, he had a personal agenda to share that information. I need to ask yourself, what was it? And she goes, well, I don't understand why you think that way. And I said, honey, you need to start thinking that way. Because nobody in that position, and it takes a long time to get in the position to be in charge of an aircraft carrier. You've got 5,000 souls on there. They don't just hand it out. All right. He probably was in charge of a submarine at one time. You know. We're not in charge, worked on one, worked on a destroyer, and now he's in charge of a aircraft carrier. Why'd you get all that information? 
because he's trying to influence 5,000 sailors and marines how they should feel about the political thing. And you got to be scared if anybody wants to force their political will or beliefs upon you. All right. Was Trump a perfect president? No. The boy, he did expose a lot of stuff that I don't think a lot of people seen. And uh, the powers to be did not like that on both sides of the aisle. Woo, wind picked up. Uh, I think he scared a lot of people, and that's why he's under constant attack. You know, did he tweet too much? Yeah. Did he say some mean things? Yep. Did he do some things to try to appease the left? Yeah, he did. He never showed up because you never appease the other side. Never. But we had a great economy. We don't now. I don't care what the press secretary says. Our economy is in turmoil. It can't get people to work. We're trying to say unemployment is it's yada yada yada. Everywhere I go, they have higher signs. And here's how they play with those numbers. Where I work, they've been hiring every Tuesday. First Tuesday of the month, they have a big hiring party. All right. And they've been doing that all summer. And out of the group I was in, half of them are no longer there. Now, whether they got fired for drugs and alcohol, whether they got fired because they have a problem showing up for work, which seems to be the biggest part, or they just quit, saying, hey, this is hard. It's hot in the plant. I'm sweating. I don't like this. But it doesn't matter. If I go to Jewel, hiring. If I go to Casey's, hiring. Caterpillar, hiring. You know, every manufacturer, hiring. Every place that employs more than three people is hiring. And that sign stays up there. So don't tell me what unemployment is. Somebody works for a week and quits, they count that for the whole month. You know, so you should say the hiring is at an all-time high. But we're not keeping anybody in their jobs. And then we say, well, they're not paying enough. Well, could be. I know that the pay scale has not kept up with the inflation. Not when it's 8 9% a month. But they forget to tell you. You know, I know what I paid for gas back in 2020. I know what I'm paying for gas now. And I'm talking to, you know, someone I know. Well, the president's not in charge of his gas prices. But now that gas has went down a little bit, they're saying, look what the president's done. Well, wait a minute, I didn't think he was in charge. That double-edged, that double-sided, talking about both sides of your fourth point of contact. Yeah, I want to have a session now, what do I want to talk about? Well, at some point, you need to get educated. All right? I'm not saying that the other side's any better. But if you keep going to the polls, and voting for the same loser or losers that are not doing anything on your benefit, then it's your fault. All right. I have voted Democratic. I have voted Republican. I have voted off party. You know, there was one year I didn't like the candidate on either side, so I voted for another one. No, you wasted your vote. No, I didn't. I made an opinion. I told him I didn't like it. And a significant percentage of the people said the same thing. Problem is, we have a two party system that just keeps each other in power by selling fear. We need a third party, probably even a fourth. But then again, you need to sit there and hold them accountable. If they go in and they're not doing what you voted for them, then don't vote for them next time. You know, we got that Kissinger here. You know, I said, when are you going to start running under a Democratic platform? I'm a Republican. No, you're not. I looked at your voting record. You're a Democrat. You know, I'm saying there's anything wrong with that. But stop playing like you're something not, you know, stop saying you're a Republican. You're not. You know, join the party that you're uh, voting with. And if any independents are watching us, they're in power. You're probably not. Uh, except for Rand Paul. 
to me, you're just a Democrat. Because when I want you to vote, you all vote the way the Democrats do. So you're not an independent, you're a Democrat. Join the Democratic Party. You know, if you mixed up your votes, I'd do it. But every time, I said, except for Rand Paul, he's the only one that will go against everybody's grain. Most of the time, you guys are voting the same way the Democrats are. Stop pretending you're something else. Yeah, that's one thing these walks are. They're very therapeutic. Like I said, hopefully it's deep enough in my video that, you know, YouTube don't get buttered. But I do have my opinion, and I have the right to express my opinion. I'm not sitting there telling anybody to do violence. I'm telling people to research and look into deeper why they're saying what. And when they say something stupid, call them out on it. When they say, well, it's not a recession. Yeah, it is. Two quarters in a row. That's the definition of recession. Oh, we're going to change it now. I don't care. That's what it is. You know, am I still putting food on the table? Yeah, I am. But it's costing me at least 60 to 70% more of my income to do so. So, to me, things are going south. It's costing me twice as much to fill my tank. Alright? I'm not making twice as much money. You know, now what do I do? Well, i got a job that's closer to home. That helped. So now that I've got a job that's less than half the distance I used to drive, I'm back to what I used to spend on gas. You know, grew a big garden. You know, got fish in the pond. I got deer to shoot. You know, that helps. It supplements my food, but it doesn't replace it. You know, and it, it, it requires my time. My time and energy went into that garden. All right. Honestly, I probably could have bought more vegetables just by working an extra three hours at work a week. But, you know, the quality is much better. Yeah, you know, the same thing with YouTube. I, I realize I, I inspire people to work out. I inspire people to, to eat more, better nutrition. You know, I inspire people to get motivated. And I like it when they respond back and say, hey, you know, I'm now getting back into the gym. I'm now going for walks. I'm now doing yoga. I'm now doing this because you inspired me to do so. To me, that's great. That's basically why I do it because I'm not doing it for the money. I thought it was for a minute because, you know, when I first got monetized, I had a video that just went nuts. And, I mean, I made some good money. I thought so. I made 547 bucks one month. I made 476 bucks the next month. And I was starting to think, wow. If I can do that every month, YouTube's going to be fun and worth putting the effort into. Okay? And then I was making 200. And I was making 100. Yeah, still 100 is good. Night out. You know, and I was making 80 bucks a month. Like, hmm. I've got lots more subscribers. I have more views. Making less money. It looks like this month. I don't even think I'll break 30 bucks. So I said, well, John, if you're looking at, you need that extra 100 bucks a month, just work a couple extra hours a month. That's all I got to do. You know, instead of getting all mad at YouTube, because YouTube's a business, I'm sure their books were getting in the red, so they made changes. You know, you either stay on board or you go to different platforms. Now, I am trying to go to different platforms, but this is the best platform to reach out and motivate people to get in shape. And why am I doing it? I think when you get in better shape, you're happier about life. And when people get happier about life, I think less evil happens. You know, some people are never going to be happy. And you see them on the news. But other people, you know... They're looking and they say, well, I don't like the person I see. So, number one, be happy with what you are now. And then make uh, adjustments to improve. You know, I have my own worst critic. You know, as in good a shape as I am in, I want to be in better. 
I don't compare myself to other people. I compare myself to me. And we're coming back. So I'm sitting there trying to make a better version of myself for myself. And the healthier I am, I got somebody out here with the weed whip. So yep, we do have somebody here at the campground. Kind of cleaning up the area. I wonder if I can engage him in conversation. If I do, I'll have to pause this. But he's got a loud machine. And uh, probably not even where I'm walking by. And there's a no trafficking sign there. And it's private property. So basically, to walk in would probably make him a little nervous. Oh, sir. He's out there doing some weed whipping. Getting things all cleaned up. So, howdy, neighbor. Ah, just got your plugs in. Oh, well, I tried. Maybe next time. That's it. Delth abilities. <laughs> you can walk right by them when they don't know it. So, yeah, this is a long video. I think this one might even take about an hour to load up at work. But uh, sometimes you need to make them. I had a live stream for about 50 minutes early this morning, which I enjoyed. Just head on the deck, I had a cup of coffee, and was petting the cat Binks. And then I figured, I'll go for a walk, and my knee feels so much better. It's starting to loosen up. And I know I need to do more of this. But here's the field. I would think a field like this would be loaded with pheasant. But I have yet to hear them. Pheasant and uh, wild turkey should be in here. And deer. But uh, I would love to sit there and talk to the owner and, and just walk in the winter with a dog and see if there's any, any game here. Or if not, try to trap something and let them go here. Cause that is like perfect habitat. Look at all those flowers. I don't see it posted. Hey, you got they call the wild carrots, the black eyed Susans, and there's some of those purple flowers. That's alfalfa, actually. And then you got the milk weeds. And it, it, it is cut, because if it wasn't cut, it'd be full of those trees there. And those trees get that big, you see in the background. And they are full of thorns. Like two inch, two inch long thorns, two and a half inch. Wouldn't want to run through them. Now this area should be really like butterfly heaven. I don't see a lot of them flying right now. It's the middle of the day, but really, it's a field like this. It will provide habitat for a lot of your butterflies, a lot of your bees. Adverse to nothing but soybeans, which we have to grow. But I like these fields better. To walk through there slowly and see what sort of wildlife, even the small wildlife that you would see, it's awesome. Let me see if I can get in there without blowing my knee out. Okay, I got the purple flowers, I got little yellow flowers. Got the black hot Susan. Just loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. I guarantee you there's a microculture in here. That would be just awesome to study. Trying to follow through with my biochemistry degree. So that's like your. <clears throat> a little wildlife safari part of the video if you're still watching I appreciate it or if you skipped forward and caught this part I appreciate that too there's a lot of rants that's what their walks for I'll be happy happy joy at work so I'm gonna go home and if I think I have enough time I'm gonna make some peppers if I don't, then it'll be something I will try to do 
uh, maybe Sunday evening. I am at least going to put six hours of OT in. I might make it seven. Because I need the money. I got bills to pay. And YouTube ain't doing it. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the rant and the walk. You know, and the conversation. Let me know what you think about it in comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll, uh, Upload this when I get to work, and I may do a uh, a short or two on uh, maybe some dumbbell lifting outside if I feel the energy for it. If not, today is mostly a rust day, so it might just be the long videos. And I can watch my views drop down to a couple thousand, but it's okay. It's not really making a difference in my income, so I'm gonna start put probably more of the longer videos out again than the shorts you know shorts are like an instant gratification you feel good for a couple minutes and then you realize hey, it wasn't what you thought it was so pretty much I've been recording the whole time I've been walking I will upload this on my fitness one only just in case I get in trouble for some of the things I said. And remember, if that's the case, please jump over to my second channel, which is Mac Beans Farms and Prepping, and uh, sub to that one. I'll put that one in the description so I can still reach out and give everybody fitness advices because I can live stream from there too. The only thing I can't do is I can't uh, post pictures or comments yet I think I got about 222 subscribers which I think is great because there it's my second channel I'm getting really close to 6,000 subscribers here so thank you for that I do appreciate it and I'm starting to see a few new faces on the live streams and I think the live streams are really the real key to the health of your channel you know if you're only seeing the same 10 or 12 every time and then the other, other people who are just well they like to hit subscribe and I appreciate that too because I mean, it don't hurt but when you start seeing more and more people joining in on your live streams uh, then, you, then you actually know the health of your channels is getting out there better and of course on my part I got to be more consistent I know I'm getting to the gym sometime between you know 9 30 and 10 30 and I got to get uh, more dedicated on that I'm trying to have a, a consistent time I almost need to be in the gym while I'm watching proper nation so I can pop in right afterwards but usually I watch him first eat a couple glasses of milk and mosey on to the gym and you know 9 30 I think is the earliest I've started them and I probably need to be starting about nine so I'm going to try to do that next week, get out there a little earlier, and then uh, I might uh, sit there and add another couple hours OT. So I think what I'll do is on Tuesday and Wednesday, I just might do 12 hours days instead of 10. It's coming in on first shift as long as I'm busy is okay. I can always, you know, find something to do as long as they're not overloaded. And then if I find they are, I can just make the adjustment. Right? So I think next week, when I'm asked uh, on that Tuesday and Wednesday, I think I'll do 12-hour uh, days. Because the wife is gone and uh, at school first thing in the morning anyway. So I might as well make some extra money. You know, and that'll help. And then uh, I might have to make my Sunday... Uh, an eight hour day and not a six hour and that'll help also and you know that adds a couple hundred to paycheck which helps with bills I am starting to pay some down and get rid of them you know tackling uh, one at a time and uh, I think also within about a a year and a half I should have my car paid off it looks like I'll be paying it off about 
three years early. Uh, when I had the opportunity, I made heavy payments on principal. And then I'll have a, a car free and clear. I was putting a lot of miles on them because I was driving 120, 150 miles a day. And now I'm only driving like 25 miles a day. So that, that is helping. Uh, I mean, hell, it's still under warranty. So get that paid off. That'll, that'll free up quite a bit of money. I got a credit card next month that I'm going to kill off. You know, you know that, that frees up money. Uh, I just got rid of a phone. That should free up some money. Of course, my bill didn't reflect it, so I got to talk to AT&T on that. And, uh, you know, just finding ways to free up extra money. And actually, I got a gym membership I got to cancel. So I'm just not going to that gym. I'm going to the other one. So I, I got to get better at that. You know, these are things that you work out when you go on walks. If you just sit at home and turn on the boob tube, it's called the boob tube for a reason. Uh, you don't get this thought process, and also I'm at work and thinking, oh, I should have. Oh, I should have did this. Oh, I should have did that. And uh, that's when you realize that you need to get your stuff organized better. So, huh, look, got FedEx at the neighbors. He's just pulling out. Chances are he stopped at my place too. Now the one thing I need to do is, if I walked in the weeds, I need to do a bug check. Ah, there's another, yeah, probably the same one. Let me see if I can catch him while I'm in the shade. There he is. And there he is, right over that tree. Now he's gone. Oh well. So yeah, that's been one of my longer videos. So this will take a while to upload, even at, at work. And here I am on the home stretch. There they are. Yeah, hopefully you, you catch glimpses of them. It's, like I said, it's hard to aim the camera sometimes. Head back to Mud Creek. Maybe I can sneak up on that turtle again. Maybe get him in camera view once again. There's the puppy dogs. There you are, puppy dogs. Puppy dogs, yeah. I miss you guys. Oh, puppy dog. oh, there's your toy. There's your toy. Yep, there's your toy. Well, your master not out. So. William was out. I had to go pet him, but he's not he's in the house, so I'll just let them have their fun. Now, coming up to Mud Creek again. And I'm trying to come up slowly and stealthy. Let's see if I can catch another turtle on the bank. That's what I was doing. I was sitting on the bank, getting itself warmed up, and then they go out and forage. And it's definitely warmer now than it was when I began this walk. Uh, well, I was glad I had time to do it. So it's been a pretty relaxful morning, you know, had coffee, uh, did my live stream, and now I got my walk, picked a couple vegetables, I got a nice tomato, so I think I'm going to cook me up some more bacon for another bacon and tomato sandwich to take to work. And then uh, and I'll probably have that for lunch instead of chili. Alright, so let's come up slowly. Slowly and interesting. If I can spot it first, before it spots me. Uh, nope, something just jumped. That was a frog. Now chances are he he headed down downstream a ways. Like there's a couple logs there, and logs are usually a good place for them to climb up and sun. 
I don't see any from this spot. If I brought my binoculars, that would have helped. And on the other side, it's really sunny. Let me head this way. Yep, there he is. Up oh, there, he just went. So, yep, he was sitting in the mud. Hopefully, I caught him for a second. I'll try that with my short. So, I've been on the road for an hour. This is definitely by far. Oh, there's there's those yellow zebra tails. They're hard, hard, hard to get on camera because they're constantly flying. Where'd he go? There you go. They're constantly on the move. They are pretty, 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 pretty flowered. And now that I let my field grow, I am seeing more of them. When I first moved out here, it was uh, basically nothing but uh, cornfield. So I had a DNR come out and plant my acreage with wildflowers and brown and alfalfa and clover. Clover, actually, I put out there. Yeah, the truck's slowing down. Well, they're probably getting ready for harvest season. Now would be the time to do the maintenance on your trucks. They haven't been using them to haul gravel. Because pretty soon, it'll be time to bring down the corn. Corn, corn, corn. It's already yellow and full. Now they're just waiting for it to dry out. Basically, that's all they're doing. So, nice, relaxed walk. If you the whole time, appreciate it. It is a long walk, and I don't know how entertaining I can actually be. If you fast forwarded to some of the spots, I don't blame you. So, Pretty much, uh, I think it's about all I got. No more rants. It's a beautiful day. Got my sun in. Got my vitamin D process. I'll go in for a big glass of Fairlife milk. Find me up some bacon. And I got a nice tomato to slice up. And then uh, probably going to water the tomatoes too. Maybe try to fertilize them. Throw some more fertilizer in there and see if I can give them a boost. I did fertilize them last two, or two weeks ago. But like I said, they're producing a lot of fruit and probably utilizing just about everything I'm giving it. So I'm going to make a real strong batch of fertilizer and then dilute it down with the hose and see how that goes. Alrighty, so with that, I'm almost home. Everybody have a wonderful day. Remember, rest, nutrition, proper exercise. Go for walks, go for lifts, yoga, bicycle, up and down your stairs. Do at least 30 minutes of activity three times a week and you'll be a lot happier. Thanks for joining us.